Former President Donald Trump was the headliner in Dallas last night at the Conservative Political Action Conference, or CPAC, capping a four-day parade of speakers who claimed to believe the 2020 presidential election was stolen from Trump, despite mountains of evidence disproving it. That conspiracy theory has taken hold with some voters as election-denying candidates in Arizona, Michigan, and Missouri won their primary races this week, with many more on the ballot in the weeks to come. NBC's Vaughn Hilliard has more in our Sunday Focus. There has never been an individual who is a greater threat to our republic than Donald Trump. In a new campaign ad for Republican Congresswoman Liz Cheney, stunning words from a former vice president, her father, Dick Cheney. He lost his election and he lost big. I know it, he knows it, and deep down, I think most Republicans know it. But this week, some Republicans embracing the big lie, even running on the issue. Donald Trump won. Are winning. Across America, election deniers pulling off major primary victories at all levels of government. The latest, Carrie Lake. Trump won, you're right. Winning her Republican primary for Arizona governor. Her platform, decertifying the 2020 election and arresting elections officials. Just days before the election, she claimed fraud in her own race, without specifics or evidence, knowing she may lose. So you know about a crime, and yet you're not reporting it to authorities. And I'm not telling you about it. But she won and promptly declared victory. Lake joins a cadre of other election-denying candidates for governor in Michigan, Pennsylvania, Illinois, and Maryland. Each would be responsible for certifying their state's 2024 presidential results. And this Tuesday, potentially another in all-important Wisconsin. We are going to have election integrity here in Wisconsin! Trump's pick is running against a Republican endorsed by former Vice President Mike Pence, since certifying Biden's 2020 win on January 6th, increasingly a target of scorn. A guy that we used to like named Mike Pence endorsed Karen Robeson. Republicans also nominating election-denying Secretary of State candidates and attorneys general. I will fight to secure our elections so that when Donald Trump runs and wins again in 2024, everyone will know it's legitimate. Trump allies also winning key U.S. Senate primaries in Pennsylvania, Ohio, Georgia, Missouri, Nevada, North Carolina, and Arizona. If you had been in the U.S. Senate, would you have objected to the 2020 certification? You know, I think what Hawley and I believe what Cruz did was right. Michigan Congressman Peter Meyer voted to impeach Trump after the Capitol attack. This week, he lost to a Trump-backed challenger, John Gibbs. Any leader of any organization has to have a certain number, certain amount of um, loyalty from the people that work in that organization. And in just 10 days. The people of Wyoming are going to tell her, Liz, you're fired. Get out of here. Liz Cheney's political fate on the line. The co-chair of the January 6th committee, who has made the case against the former president, is facing off against a Trump-endorsed Republican. We're fed up with the January 6th commission. Their messages mired in 2020, but with potential 2024 chaos causing implications. And Vaughn joins me now live. Vaughn, good morning. Good to see you. You've covered those races in Arizona so closely. So you know some of these candidates even have said they would go back and decertify the results of the 2020 election. If elected, what power would these officials and others across the country actually have to influence the vote as we move forward? Yeah, that's where some of these jobs, they may not be the flashiest. Just take secretaries of state, Willie. They're the ones who are in charge of running their state's elections and making sure that they are fair and accurate. And we saw in 2020, these secretaries of states come under pressure to find this supposed voter fraud. Just take Brad Raffensperger, the Republican secretary of state of Georgia. You'll recall there in the weeks after the 2020 election, he received that phone call from Donald Trump pressuring him to, quote, find enough votes to give him the win over Joe Biden in the state, despite that not being reality. Brad Raffensperger, the Republican, though, stood up and defended his state's elections there. And then when you're looking by law, uh, you know, by statute, it's ultimately governors who are also the ones in charge of certifying their state's election results before those vote results are sent to Washington, D.C., to be counted as part of the Electoral College vote count, which is that process, Willie, that we watch play out on January 6th. 
And as you pointed out, some of these candidates saying there was fraud in the election that I just won. It's getting very confusing. Vaughn, thanks so much. We appreciate you explaining it all to us. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.